What's up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. I'm playing. <laughs> I wasn't happy with the clutch. So I've had the um, clutch slave cylinder off, which is this jobby, and there really isn't anything to it, like at all. It sits up there, that's the piston. There is a seal that sits around there and a spring behind it, that's it. Um, I have got another service kit coming um, just because there's something a bit iffy with this and I just want to make sure it's all as it should be sort of thing. But um, this wasn't moving at all. I had the banjo out. Where's he gone? Him. Um, and that hole down the middle of it, well, he was crusty as hell. So that needs swapping out with something new or that one cleaning or something. But I need to get this moving, basically. Um, ideally, I want this out. Um, and I still haven't made that fitting so I can put some decent air behind it either. Um, Alright, let's um, see, it's wiggling now, there's bubbles coming out. Alright, let's see if I can pop this apart. Um, where's my duct tape? I need to make one of those things, didn't I, for the airline? Never mind, we'll do this for now. covered in sludge. Like loads of sludge. All right, it can go back in the parts washer. Um, and literally all you get in the service kit, I think, is this, um, this all seal and that spring. That's it. So, I'm gonna have all this apart. Curiously, you don't get that in it. Why don't you get that in it? Hmm. Okay, let's give all this a clean. So I've just been going through checking bulbs and you know connectors and all that sort of stuff. They've had a squirt of a contact cleaner down the end, um, blown them out, squirt of WD-40, blown them out. You know, I mean, we're looking all right actually. There's a couple back here that I need to cut back and remake, um, which is easy enough, um, but everything is looking pretty good actually. So I think we're okay as far as electrics go which was a bit of a worry. I've not gone through and checked everything works yet with the ignition on and flashing lights and all that stuff. I know I've still got an issue there with the um, starter button, so he's got to come apart. But whilst I'm in there, I'll just clean all the contacts anyway. I mean, you know, it's easy, isn't it? All right then. Look. <laughs> right, yeah, there you go. All sludge and everything. This is what happens when something doesn't move or do anything for 21 years. <laughs> it just gets crusty as hell. And not in a good way. Right, 
try and get some of this off. And you can go back in again. How's that other bit going? Oh, the piston's coming up lovely. Right, so pistons is all cleaned up. I can't do the brake and the clutch yet. Um, might as well start on bodywork, eh? Yeah, let's have a go at the tank. Right, so Jack is doing all the painting. I'm not doing that because I'm not set up for it. <laughs> Um, he's got all the booth and everything else. Um, so literally all I've got to do is scuff it all up. Uh, he wants it down to 500. I've got 320. Is that 320? Yeah, 320. So we'll give it a go with this and we'll see how it comes out. If I need to go 500, I'll go 500. But literally it's just a case of scuffing it all down, taking the shine off everything and just making sure that it's all you know, like an even, even sort of finish, really. There is a dink in this, where I dropped a bit of steel on it, if you remember. <laughs> Oopsie! So, he's gonna have a little bit of filling to do on this, but, it should be easy enough. And this is probably what most of the wheat is gonna consist of. I've got the other panels and stuff up there, I've gotta pull the lights out of them. Is it the, one of the seat, the sides of the seat or something? That's nasty. Um, so that's probably going to be the bit that takes most of the time. But essentially, all I'm doing is giving it a key for the new paint to go on. I have picked out a colour. You're probably not going to like it. No, Martin, it is not going to be green, white and blue. <laughs> not a sports bike. Um, but yeah. So I picked out a colour um, and I'm not going to tell you what it is until it's on and then you can see it and then I'll tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so that's the tank all scuffed up. Um, essentially, you're just looking for not having any shiny bits. Trouble is, I've got a couple. Like behind this little bracket thing, and right behind that one, I can't get in there and, and scrub it up. And also where the ring is, where you actually bolt the, um, the filler cap to, there's a ring that's set up from the tank, and you can't actually get right in there. So there are a couple of little bits. Um, you know, this stuff I'm not too fussed about. It's, you're not even gonna see it, but the paint has got to stick to it. Um, where the steel fell off here, we have got three dinks. So there's one there that you can probably see. There's one there, and there was a tiny, tiny little scuff down there. Um, I'm gonna show it to Jack, because I think the filler needs to go on to bare metal. I'm pretty sure it does. I haven't got any here, so I can't check the tin. Um, but if that's the case, I'll get them just to fill these, give it a rub down and we're in. But other than that, there aren't really any shiny bits. Um, this is all done with 320. He said he wanted it down to 500, but I think 320 is going to be a good enough key. I really, I mean, paint's going to cover any little scratches that's left in this. Easy. Right then, let's go and see if Jack's there. Thank you. 
Well, well Jack's been around now to look see. He definitely wants it down to 500. <laughs> Which is fine, he's the one painting it. Apparently 320 is right on the cusp of, well you'll probably be all right, but you might see scratches. I don't really know. So, but he never has the trouble with 500. So um, that's what he's getting basically. Uh, I haven't got any 500 um, grit sandpaper, so he's given me some. Um, I've got some of these on order, more of that in a sec. But there really is not a lot to 500 grit paper. Yeah, I'm not saying you're rubbing it with a cap, but the, you know, it's not far off. Um, but he's given me some of these to try. Um, Merca something or others, I don't know. It's not a cloth, it's waving. You can see through it, look. You can see the wall behind. Um, but it's, I think it's cloth, I don't think it's wire. But it's sort of woven together in this zigzag sort of pattern. I don't know. But the fact that you can see through it means it ain't going to clog much, is it? And even if it does, well, you just like rinse it off and away you go again. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the DA out. That will make things a bit quicker. Um, it's got an interference pad on it as well. Where is it? So I've got an interference pad here somewhere. Um, there we go. One of them. Which way do you go on? That way? Is it that way? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we can go on like that. And this is basically just like a squashy pad, just a foam pad, just so you can get into all the contours and whatnot. And this goes on the outside of that. Like that. And then away we go. It just means that, you know, you've got a little bit of a give to it. Um, I've never used these on bodywork. He uses them all the time and swears by them, so we'll see how we go. Um, we put some water on it as well. Not because um, you have to wet sand it or anything else, it just it keeps the dust down. <laughs> I was doing it behind, uh, and there's a fair amount of dust coming up. I ain't got a mask, so I've got the door open, but you know, the first breeze that comes through, all the dust goes up and you're choking on it. So all right, let's give this a go then. changed my mind. <laughs> I was doing it wet, when the main reason was to keep the dust down, and that does keep the dust down, absolutely. The only trouble is you end up with a stripe of just sludge across here. You end up soaking wet, and you also can't see where you've been, what sort of finish that you've got. So, I mean, I'm halfway through this at the minute, but you can see across here, just from the, you know, the sort of well, I was going to say dustiness, but the cloudy nature of it, there are no bits that have been missed. Whereas here, where I haven't been yet, you can see it's all shiny. You see there's like a high bit there, and a low bit there, where it's had a blob of you know lacquer on it and blah, blah, blah. If you get it all nice and flat like that, jobs are good. Um, but it's really hard to do when it's wet. Um, so I'm just suffering with the dust and doing it dry, basically. Um, I've got quite a lot done. I do have a problem with the front of my guard. Um, let me show you, uh, where are you, okay, so I don't know if you can see, but there, if I wipe some muck into it, you can see I've got a crack, right in the front, it starts there, finishes about here, um, now this is ABS plastics, the crack does all go, you know, go all the way through or whatnot, I'm not sure if I could just super glue it, let it dry and then sand it all down. I'm not sure if that would be a good way of doing it. Um, so I'm going to Google it and see what a good way of fixing it is. 
Um, but it does need to be fixed, just because the vibration of the bike when it's running, that crack is just going to creep. There's no point painting over it without fixing it, because it's just it's going to wreck it, isn't it? So I need to get that sorted. But we've pretty much got the two side panels done. My God, a little bit of an issue. And I've gone over the tank and the, the nose cone again. So pretty much it's seat, mirrors, grab rail on the back, which I might even get powder coated yet. I don't really know. Maybe, don't know. But with a little bit of luck, all this lot is going to be done by the weekend. So I can get it off to Jack and he can start painting. Which will be sweet. Um, I have got, um, I've, I've had some stuff turn up, which I've never used. We're going to give that a go. Um, you'll see that later on. Um, still waiting on the clutch slave cylinder kit. Um, I have got the brake bleeding stuff as well, so we can get the rear brake and the clutch sorted once all that's back together. And really, that is it. It's just a case of going over, checking everything, ready for MOT. But there you go. Um, time now is half past 12, so I need to tip off to my work, but... I'll be back. Right then, it is now Friday. You've missed quite a lot. I have been very busy. Um, but the idea is I want to try and get all this lot done and finished up tomorrow so I can give it to Jack for, for painting. Um, I've not actually got that much left. I've got the, the rear for the front mud guard. It's weird it comes in two halves, but anyway. A um, couple of wing mirrors, or rear view mirrors, they're not wing mirrors this little infill panel and this side of the seat. This is the only broken bit that I've found. Um, basically part one of the lugs has snapped off, you can see. Um, I think I'm right in saying that this is the infill panel that goes underneath here, I think. It seems to fit there anyway. So that's obviously gonna be the bit that comes up the side of the rear light. Um, I might see if I can find another one um, but for now it's going on because there's no fixing tabs on the end of it. But that one there seems to be broke off as well. So I'm going to have a look for one of these. Um, just, you know, because it's going to be rubbish else, isn't it? <laughs> but you have missed quite a lot. I've been busy. But then again, how do you make a video about rubbing stuff down? Interesting. I mean, you can't, can you? Um, I'm quite impressed with these. These last really well. Um, so I've got some coming. Um, hopefully, well, I might have to pinch another couple off Jack just to get these last few bits and pieces done because I've pretty much worn these out. Now I am rubbing it with a cat and it's taking ages. <laughs> um, got the grab rail as well to do on the back. This is just alley, I think it's just cast or something like that. Yeah, it's cast. Um, so I'll probably just shock blast this and I'll just paint it or maybe powder coat it or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but that'll just be going black anyway. But that's it. So, um, I've got some other stuff turned up. So the clutch slave kit is here. Where's he gone? Uh, where is it? There you go. You don't get a lot in a service kit for a clutch slave cylinder on one of these. It literally is just a spring or all seal and a cover for the nipple, that's it. Um, all this lot is lovely and clean it was until I covered it in dust. Um, so that would just get reassembled and stuck back on. Um, but my plan is, because I've, I've, tomorrow I'm going to be in here, um, I've got to help Jamie shift some stuff, but I want to get all the rest of the bodywork done and finished and into Jack for paint, because then during next week he can get it all coloured in for me, which will be mint. Um, other stuff that turned up is uh, my bungs for the airbox, so they're in, so all that lot is, is basically watertight now. I've got some cleaning stuff that I want to try because I haven't tried it. So basically I'm at the point where the whole thing can get a proper clean up, which is weird because that's the first thing that I wanted to do. <laughs> and now we're right at the end of it. This is the first chance I've had to actually get it clean, which is weird. I really don't know why I wore navy blue when all I'm doing is making dust. <laughs> that wasn't best choice, was it? She's going to be over the moon when she sees me. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, really boring video, just me rubbing down stuff, basically. But, as you can see from the pile of bits, we is getting there. And it's definitely all getting done tomorrow. Um, Sunday, I'm not gonna be in. I'm not gonna be in on Sunday. Do you remember Sam went off on a Hindu holiday thing? Well, the wedding day's tomorrow. And I'm not gonna be in here Monday morning either, because we're stopping off. <laughs> we're stopping over, so I'm probably gonna have hangover, at a guess. 
<laughs> yeah. Anyway, so time's getting on. I need to chip off. So that's where I'm leaving it for this one. But thank you ever so much for watching. Do hope you're well and staying safe. We'll see you on the next one. Later.